some of the members of this group. They have angered. Vampires, Bloodsuckies, Nosferatu. Hey, what's up, everybody? Steven here, aka Wild That Guy eighty five, here to do another review. Uh, this is one of the movies I ordered from Wild Eye this past week that came in. So I figured I'd do another review. This time, Murder University. The tuition isn't all that will kill you. All the hallmarks of a great slasher film. There's the back. Your education will cost an arm and a leg. A small New England college is plagued by a series of brutal cult-like murders that share a similar pattern of killing some 20 years earlier. The lone survivor of a recent attack must team up with a veteran police detective and his daughter in order to uncover the secret behind the killings, revealing a legacy of murder and the occult that has been kept buried for decades on campus. Nice mix of frights, gore, and funny. A hilarious splatter fest. So this movie takes place in the 80s. Um, it shows a group of college students, uh, two females and their boyfriends. So they're exploring the house where the founder of the college uh, grew up and who apparently was a murderer. So they're exploring the house. Of course, you know, the horror genres, most top rules, never split up, never have sex, or else that equals death. So, of course, you know, you got that right in the beginning. So, you got your nudity and murder straight out the bat. So, just like, you know, most Wild Eye movies have. So, you know what to expect. Uh, the acting in this is pretty decent. Uh, most of the characters played them pretty well, their roles. So, we got some uh, murder going on right in the beginning. Then it goes up to the present. Well, sort of present. Um... It's like 1983 or 4, I believe. And this kid, Josh, uh, he's with his mom and uh, he's about to start college. His father passed away and he doesn't really want to talk about it uh, right away. Uh, you later find out what happens and uh, what's going on and what secrets there are. So, of course, you know, while he's at college, he's having like all the worst luck. Uh, he's got a crazy roommate that just wants to invite women over. Uh, he calls the room like the Pussy Palace or the Pussy Room. He's like, this is going to be the, um, a nonstop, you know, pretty much orgy going on. He's just a partier, uh, just wants to hook up. Uh, he's got a teacher that doesn't like him. Uh, he gets attacked while he's at the bar. Some guy just knocks him out for checking out his girlfriend during a wet t-shirt contest. But obviously, everyone in the bar was. And while he's out, uh, one day he's uh, attacked and he survives. Uh, there's a reason why he survives, but it sort of changes him. And he teams up with a detective and his daughter. Uh, he wants to, you know, hunt them down. So this veteran cop... Uh, brings him in and enrolls his daughter in college and uh, you know they're trying to track down these occult members they don't know how many there are of these murderers uh, that have a tie to some murders years back uh, you'll see them in the trailer so that's pretty much uh, what's going on in this movie they just leave uh, you know a trail of bodies lots of decapitations eyes gouged out uh, pretty much every bloody way that you can be dismembered is shown in this movie. So it definitely has its blood and gore, uh, which is another plus. I believe it got a 4.2 or a 4.5 on Internet Movie Database. I give it at least a 7. Um, I really enjoyed it in my opinion. 
uh, you know, you can't really go on those ratings until you see it yourself, or maybe they just don't like independent horror movies. But I think they did a pretty good job, and uh, the final scenes of what we learn and how everything's connected, uh, I enjoyed it. I don't want to spoil it, but this is definitely one you should check out. I think you can rent it on Amazon Prime, but I don't think it's included. Um, you can definitely get it from uh, Wild Eye. I'll leave the link down below. So definitely check this out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's definitely worth buying and adding to your collection. So uh, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. And stay tuned for the Internet Movie Database. It, yeah, Internet Movie Database info and a trailer. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. See you next time. All right, everybody. Here's the information on Murder University. Came out in 2012. Runtime is an hour and 36 minutes. And I already read the synopsis to you. Uh, got a 4.2 rating on um, Internet Movie Database, which, of course, doesn't mean much. Uh, it's directed by Richard Griffin. Writer was Lenny Schwartz. Cast includes Samantha Acampopora. Acampora. Sorry if I mispronounced the names wrong. Played Meg. David Adams Murphy, Professor Bellinger. Dave Omada, Professor Schwartz. Thibe Alicante as a frat party member. We got Nick Apositolidis as Loco Larry. Elisa Balzeri as Angela. Timothy Bonavita as Ricky. Andre Bodreo as Jerry the Hippie. Mary... Mary DeBerry is Professor Miller. Teresa Dern is Gina. Jamie Dufault is Josh. Jesse Dufault, I guess they're brothers, Curtis. Nancy Ferranti is the student. Christopher L. Ferreras is Tom. Tanya, F yeah, Tanya Free is Juicy's number one fan. Dana Haley is Catherine. Ryan Hanley is Philip. Kai Hansen is is Amanda, Griffin Harder as a frat stud, Sean Harder as frat party member one, Lydia Irwin as an unlucky hostage girl, Patrick Keefe as unlucky hostage guy, Kevin Kilvey as Ryan, Bernard LeVar Jr., Ben the Hippie, Tom LaVale as gouged eye guy, John Masich as Conway, Sarah Murphy as Haley, or Hallie, Aaron M. Olson as tied up girl, Jocelyn Padilla as Jackie, Mary Polono as Mrs. Beachman, Aaron Peasley as Juicy K. Thunder, Kyron Peach as Heather Flynn, Robbie Choi as Steve, Lee Rush as Mrs. Green, David Sackle as Police Officer, Anthony Smith as Juicy K. Heckler, Sean Sullivan as Leon, Nathaniel Sobia as Mark, Michael Thurber as Forrester, Rich Trethway as Professor McKinnon, Daniel Lee White as Blake, and Jeff White as Dr. Marcus. All right, stay tuned for the trailer. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. See you next time. So did you guys hear about those kids who got killed on campus last semester? It's Greensboro Devil. He's back. And this time he has help. Everybody thought I was crazy for sticking with this case for so many years. Always knew the devil had come back to give me a second chance. My opinion, what we're dealing with is a bunch of bored, rich kids getting off on acting like a cult. Oh my god, why is this happening? Don't kill me! thing about killing is you do it once and you start to get a taste for it i'm investing in my future <laughs>